I'm looking for a bass or a large mouth or some kind of cichlid. And these have a lot more tail action. I'm just gonna go with the little basic ball jig. Come on. Two, one. And when they are ready to mate or reproduce, All right, we're done filming for Monster Mike's channel, so. Time to just throw a little lure here. As you guys know, I love using uh, swim baits and stuff. My favorite down here in South Florida are like three inch, three and a half inch swim baits. This one is a little Savage Gear on, it's actually a Ned Rig. But uh, don't laugh at me because it actually works. So, uh, try and get a fish. I like to cast parallel to the shoreline. I'll do like a medium fast straight retrieve right now. Nothing chased on the medium fast, right? So I'm gonna try and rip one a little bit quicker this time. And all while I'm doing that, I'm gonna keep an eye on this ledge to see if there's anything here coming up. All right, so Fast retrieval, it didn't work. So now I'm gonna do a little real, real pause action. So it's real, real pause, real, real pause, real pause, real, real pause, real pause, real. All right. I like it. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a carp. I'm not fishing for carp today, guys. I'm looking for a bass or a large mouth or some kind of cichlid, you know, something like that. So get a little more of a pause this time. Oh, something just chased me. Something just chased me that time. All right, so parallel to the shoreline, we're gonna reel it. Bum, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one. Oh no! that my line broke look my line broke now there's a fish now there's literally a fish with my lure in its mouth and my truck is all the way around the bend let's see let me show you guys my truck is all the way down there but I'm gonna run and go get it while I go grab my other lures check out this fish that I caught the other day donde esta el pescado oh right there I just had to speak the Spanish to him to catch the fish El Albi. Now you remember that. You remember who did this. That's Brian with a Y. Well, there we go. Peacock bass on the sleeper gill, courtesy of Cass Kane. Whoop. Let's give. All right, so uh, you saw Hillbilly Brian, you know, caught him on the uh, sleeper gill with the with the Kestrel Elite uh, bait caster. Now I'm gonna use the Kestrel Elite uh, spinning reel. I've actually got some extra bait that we had from clients. Uh, we didn't use them all up. We caught so many fish, we didn't need them. So figured, you know what? Might as well not let them go to waste. Let me uh, grab some in here. I don't know if you're getting a foot shot or what, but that's it. I just use a little size one vector hook here. Pop it right through the lip. And that's it. All the lakes here are pretty much uh, man-made, so there's a little shelf and then a drop. And a lot of times those fish are just on the other side of that drop. So if you let it go down too much, you're going to get snagged on the rocks. So we don't want that. We want our bait to actually look like it's swimming. These have been in the truck all day, so they're kind of at the end of their lifespan. Well, hopefully I can catch a fish. Come on. 
Come on. Nice little peacock bass. Quick little first bite. Look at that. Miami, Florida fishing right there. Peacock bass. Let him get back in the water. They stay pretty strong, so he should swim off real quick. Just like that. Hey, let's go get another one. Okay, guys, I'm back. I am back and better than ever. Hey. But uh, yeah, got my Cast King backpack here. Love this thing. But uh, yeah, it's time to tie on. Let me see here where my jig head's at. Oh, and Vector. Vector's coming out with some stuff. So uh, stay tuned for that. But right now, which jig head do I want to use? You know what? I'm just going to go with the little basic ball jig. This one's been beat up. Look how flat it is, how crushed it is. I've used this so many times, I can't even tell you how many fish I've caught. But uh, we're going to throw this one on. It's a perfect weight. Now... I just got to make sure my, uh, I don't know if it was my knot or the line was just frayed. It looked like it broke right at the knot because I have a little curl at the end. So I'm a little bit in my feels right now, but I hope you guys liked that last fish that I caught the other day. And uh, thank you for hanging out long enough to watch me try and catch this one again. I'll try not to fail you this time. Just doing a basic cinch knot, as Monster Mike would say, just like that. And it is, it's literally just like that, super basic knot. And don't even say that's why my uh, line broke the first time because you know how many fish, I've caught 100 pound fish with a basic cinch knot. So it's all based on preference. Um, I was using the Savage gear, so you know what? Let me continue with the Savage gear. Slightly darker color right now because the sun is behind some clouds. It has been stormy lately. So the last one was more of a smoky shad color. This one is kind of like that gold, yellow, brown, red on top. Let me get this all the way in. Make sure it's straight too. The one thing, you don't want it all crooked through the, through the swim bait because you want to be able to work it the right way. And that being said, I just did it crooked through the swim bait. So let's try that one more time. Let's try this one more time and boom, right through the middle. And I feel raindrops falling on my head. All right. So we're good to go. I'm not even gonna close this up, although I should. That's just me being lazy. But, all right, again, three inch swim bait. Ooh, that's lightning and thunder right there. So maybe, hopefully I can get this on like the first cast. That would be ideal, but I don't even know if there's still a fish there. What retrieval was I doing? The last one that worked, I don't know. That's a rock. That thunder and lightning's creeping in. So let me uh, let me try this a couple times. Try and get a fish before it's done and over. Just a little twitch, twitch, twitch. Let's go against what my logic says. I'm gonna put that right there against my logic, and I'm gonna get a pearl color. And bomb! It's melted from the sun, but. It's the right color, I guess, because the other one wasn't working, so it's worth giving this one a try. Let's see. I see some fish just busted, so I don't know. I just saw something bust over here, so let's, uh, let's go this way with it. It's right in the middle there. Oh, some ducks. All right, so it was a no-go on the Savage gear. I just switched to a Cabela's. Uh, it's a smoky Shad. I actually love these. It's a little bit longer, a little more torpedo shaped, um, and it kind of resembles the glass minnows that the uh, peacock bass here actually eat constantly on the surface of the water in the lakes and canals down here. So let me try throwing it this direction. Try not to snag a duck, that's for sure. And these have a lot more tail action because it's a long, thinner structure on the tail. So. I just got popped on something. First cast, I just got popped. Now, typically when I'm working at the canals, I'm walking the whole time, just casting. So most of the stuff that I catch, you're never gonna see it on camera. But uh, when I film, I gotta have the tripod and the little pivo and stuff like that. And I don't wanna get too far from my truck today. So I'm just kind of standing in one general area, trying to catch some something for you guys. 
Come on, I know there's a fish here somewhere. I don't know if you can hear the ducks splashing over there, but they are. Top water? Anything chick? Oh! Whoa! I just pulled it to the top water. Did you see that? Let's flip it out real quick. Right when I called it top water, I started picking up the speed of the retrieval. And uh, right when it broke the surface, it was about two rotations, maybe one and a half. And this guy absolutely smashed it. Look at that knob on his head. He's not, he's not completely flared up right now, but judging by the knob on his head, it means he's getting ready to. So he's looking for a female. And when they are ready to mate or reproduce, this knob, the hormones make it grow bigger. And it lets the female peacock bass know that this one's ready to, to uh, squirt on the eggs. Oh man, I, I can't believe it. Like right when I said top water, I lifted, I increased the speed of the retrieval and it literally broke the surface for a second and it got crushed. So, all right, I will take that. And it's on the Cabela today. What was that? Something just popped here too. Yeah, well, I'll go right here. Working on the top again. Oh, I got another one. I got another one. I got another one. Oh, he's jumping. Come on, come on. I want to keep it tight. They will spit the hook and I don't want it to spit my hook. Another fish, guys. Another one. This one was definitely a little flared up. You see how the, the barbs, the, the black stripes are more defined. So it's a beautiful fish. Little one. I'm going to toss it back, but it tore up this Cabela. So uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode because I had fun. This lure didn't have fun. This lure is going to have to get replaced. But uh, hey, stay tuned because I actually got some lures coming soon as well. I've already designed them, brand new design, something that nobody's seen before. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to release them to everybody. So guys, stay tuned. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on your notifications right now. And remember, no matter what you're going through, man, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.